Substitutions can be made very quickly. Tomicic has just signed a four-year contract to play in the United States. Here's the Australian starting five. The Australians, after their disappointing performance against Costa Rica, have made two changes. A change in goal with Suarez coming in to replace the captain, Adam Confoy. And the other change is Elliot Zwangabani, number nine, will start ahead of Jamie Amendolia. So we will get this match underway in just a few moments time here at Teodoro Flores Stadium. It's a stadium that can hold 4,000 fans. It's far from capacity at the moment. But the wonderful thing about this stadium, it's a gymnasium built in 1946. It's just been renovated and it does provide wonderful atmosphere regardless of the size of the crowd. The crowds have been very good in the first four days of competition. And particularly here, the smaller of the two venues, 
the fans really make their presence felt. Puddigan, the goalkeeper for Croatia. And it is going to be very interesting to see just how Tomicic, number eight, performs for Croatia. The Australians so disappointed after their heavy defeat against Costa Rica. Still have Russia to come in this group. And Russia, certainly the standout team. So if Australia are to have any chance whatsoever, they would need to take the points here against Croatia. Adam Convoy, the Australian captain, and his place taken in goal by George Suarez. in their opening match but they were unable to sustain it. a lapse in concentration just before half time allowed Costa Rica to score two quick goals and take the lead and then they kept going further in front of the second half Suarez the man who has the responsibility of holding out Croatia in the goal mouth Croatian coach Marian Brincic and the Australian coach for the last three world championships is Jim Roberts in charge Paseo Suzuki of Japan of course a total of four officials the man in charge is Mr. Suzuki, though. Australia have the first possession. Hewitt was actually yellow carded in the first five or six minutes of the last match. This is Aitchison, the vice captain of the team on the far side. So in the absence of Convoy, he will assume a major leadership role. Strong pass. McCaw was waiting for it. Back to Hewitt. Brett Hewitt, forced out of play there by Martic, the captain for Croatia, number five. Daniel McCaw, number four for Australia. Zwangabani goes out to Hewitt. Aitchison, you'll watch the movement of McCaw when he has the ball, he'll quickly move it forward and get into the target spot. Long ball to that man I mentioned, McCaw. Well, it was over the top, but it was a quick clearance. We saw these tactics by Australia regularly in the first match. The problem was the throws were far too long. Kalya. Matic. Chayak. And Gradovic couldn't get his foot on it. This is Wangabani. One of the new starting five for Australia. Taken away by Chayak. Goes down against Hewitt. Suarez clears it back to the other end. Budigan. Matic, as we have a look at that incident once again at the other end. Hewitt was the Australian involved. Devashagic was the other man from Croatia. Again, the quick clearance. The chance for McCaw again. Well, it was the second opportunity, and Budikin was challenging the Australian. And for the second time in 60 seconds, Daniel McCaw has something of an opening. Tried to get it around past the keeper, and it wasn't too far over the top. So, a spirited start by both these sides. Chalyak. One of the three members of the Croatian side who play in the Italian League. And of course now they have a man who plays in the American League as well. Tomicic. Hewitt. Zwangabani. Aitchison on the far side. Chips it forward. Hewitt was down there but was out of his reach. Chalyak brings it back. Gradovic. Gradovic is a key player in any attacking moves by this Croatian side. 
very impressive player. There he is now on the far side, number 10. Martic, the captain. Gradovic again with Zwangabani. Gradovic forces the pass away. Now it goes out wide. It went through the keeper. It was right wide. Suarez got across. And I think he knew exactly where his goal was. Let it go. Long ball. That really is a waste. Far too long. Straight into the hands of Woody Guinness. We have a look at that shot on goal once again. Just wide of Suarez. Brett Hewitt. One of the older members of the Australian team. Hitting the footwork. Oh, my word. Croatia with a real chance. Kradovic. It was forced out. But so close. And there's the man under pressure at the moment. Under siege is George Suarez. The last thing Australia wanted was to concede a goal at such an early stage in the third minute. Croatia very much starting the favourites in this match. McCaw sending it out to Hewitt. And back to Suarez. Long ball from Suarez again. But Budikin will bring it back with a goal kick. Rolling it out, in fact. Grodovic. On the far side, Eklic. And now Matic, the captain. It is going to be an interesting match here. Australia will have to watch their physical approach. Well done by Aitchison. Robbing Chalyak of the ball. McCaw to Aitchison. And this is something Croatia obviously will be aware of, the fact that Australia at international level has had a tendency to get itself into foul trouble. That works to Croatia's advantage if they can force those fouls. None in the match so far. Matic. Kudigan. Croatia at the World Championships for the first time. One of five teams making their debut appearance on a wonderful occasion here at Guatemala 2000 Hewitt once again taking the ball away Zwangabani back to Aitchison the Australians fighting hard they've regained possession twice in similar circumstances the halfway and now they give away possession Chalya Chalya across to Gradovic oh he misses it Zwangabani bringing it back. They had two on one, then Croatia. Hewitt had it at the other end, lost it. And now they're building again. This time, it's the goal for Croatia. The captain scores. Martic, here's the record goal scorer for Croatia. The 30th time he has scored for his nation. Martic getting the first goal of the match. Croatia taking the lead over Australia in the fifth minute. And this is how it happened. The goalkeeper Suarez committed himself, and that was very easy. Martic able to complete it for Croatia to make it 1-0. And there is the scoreline. After just five minutes, Croatia in front. Jim Roberts, the Australian coach, up off the bench, about to make a substitution. McCaw, he loses it. Once again, the chance, Suarez was diving away to his right. The shot was off target. Well, the shots are coming thick and fast. Time, once again, Chalyak on his left. Just forcing it past the keeper. Suarez again way way too heavy and that really is just giving possession back to Croatia so simply Grica on the far side now this is Tomicic the man who has just returned to the championships he was in the United States signed a four year deal with Detroit didn't play the first game they missed him could have done with him in that game against Russia. Grica, Tomicic, obviously a fine player, the 27-year-old. Not such a fine pass, though. 
They're working backwards at the moment. Australia conceding the first goal in the fifth minute. Amandolia, who's into the action for the first time, called in by coach Jim Roberts. And Amandolia sends it back to Suarez. What can Suarez do this time? Well, this is a very disappointing start by the Australian substitute goalkeeper taking the place of the captain, Adam Confoy. And those attempted fast breaks just not working with the long ball coughing up possession too easily. Del Pont. Australia will take it from the side. Amandolia looking for Hewitt and that's a poor pass and that happened all too frequently in the first game for the Australians. They gave up possession. Marian Brunčić, the coach of the Croatian team, knows the importance of this match after that defeat against Russia in the opening game. Croatia fifth of the European Championships. They were up against the team that won the Europeans. They knew it was going to be difficult, but nonetheless hoping for victory. They ended up failing by two. Tomicic, good ball. Running onto it. That's Malayic. Once again, the long ball from the Australian keeper and difficult one for Wells to control. It goes out of play. Earlier, we saw Russia very impressive once again as they were in the opening match. In Group C, they defeated Costa Rica six goals to one, so Russia certainly going through to the next phase of the competition. And they'll go through with a very good record, one fancies, their last matches against Australia. That will be at the El Domo Stadium, where we'll have the finals in a week and a half from now. Croatia looking damaging again, straight into Zwangabani. The shot fired in from Tomicic. And Croatia already peppering the goals, 5-1. to one. St Statistics very much in Croatia's favour in all aspects of the game. And the foul has been called against Australia. Amandolia is the man. Both teams allowed five fouls before they send their opponents for the 10-metre penalty. The first against Australia. Suarez out there, cleared away by Amandolia. Grica. Still there. Tomicic, clever work. Onto his left. Tomicic, just wide. Well, he passed two and couldn't finish it off. So close to number two for Croatia. The man they missed so badly in the first game got it past and just wide of the right upright. Del Pont on the far side, taken away by Amandolia. But he had three opponents out there. Breacher taking it back to Budikin in goal. Australia just can't get a sniff of it at the moment. Amandolia down the far side, but Del Pont! Another chance, it was almost there. Well, Suarez leaving his goal wide open. One has got through so far, and it was almost number two here. Closing in quickly was Grica, after Del Pont put in the pass. It could well have been 3-0 to Croatia. Wells into the right side of the net. Wells is the target man who comes on to replace McCaw. McCaw in the starting five. Wells with his opportunity. The Australians created opportunities in their first match. Couldn't make the most of them. Zwangabani out to Amandolia. Way, way to the left. Croatia one, Australia nil. towards the midway point of the first half here. Swan Gabani, way out of play, it's going to be a goal kick. There was a deflection off Del Pont. Now the long clearance from Suarez. Clash of bodies down there. Wells, he had the goalkeeper, and also Grichia to beat. Australia take the ball. Not for long though. Once again, Del Pont. 
Del Pont to his left, through the legs of Wells. Breacher will go to Tomicic on the left. Holding onto the ball, the Croatians. Now onto his left, running out of room and taken by Suarez. Australia persevering with these long clearances. Aitchison, Wells. Two to beat Jason Wells. Australian corner. Nine and a half minutes gone. And Croatia scoring after five minutes through Martic. Amandolia, second time, what a save! What a save! Now Wells tried to put the shot away. The ball was already in the keeper's hands. And the keeper, Budikin, is hurt. There it was. Well, the ball, to be fair, was a little loose. And Budikin copying a nasty one. So a foul. Australia's foul count one. And a Croatia nil. Warming up now for Croatia, awaiting his chance. Once again, Gradovic. But the keeper, as Jim Roberts, looks on with some concern. He was down, it was a powerful shot, good save. Just a slight fumble, and Wells thought he had a chance. Matic. Well, off the foot there of Hewitt. Chalyak to the skipper. He has to play it back on the other side of the halfway. Martic. Stopping it cleverly. Where will he go? He goes around towards the D. And Chalyak can't quite control it. Hewitt. Brett Hewitt, 29 year old from the Sydney Falcons, Aitchison, he loses it, now Croatia with the numbers, they can pass it back towards the middle, Suarez backing himself, waited for the ball to come loose and dived on it, off the boot of Kradovic. Croatia able to score two goals against Russia, it wasn't a bad effort because Russia played very well Trevor Shugic scored one of them, and Martic the other. And already Martic has scored here. In that game against Russia, Martic took the record as his country's leading goal scorer, and he's extended that with the opening goal of this match. 30 for him. Aitchison down. Still there for Croatia. Hewitt does well. Aitchison. This is David Pollywater out there for the first time for the Australians. The number two plays in the Super Cats Club, McCaw. And now Hewitt. For Pollywater. But really, that defence from Croatia taking up their positions in a good zone. And the Australia unable to penetrate. Suarez, and that is how to play. The Australians have brought three keepers to this tournament. Gavin O'Brien didn't see any action in the first match. Adam Confoy, of course, the man who did keep in the first. Uh, George Suarez, the man who's out there at the moment. Really, possession all with Croatia, 56 to 44 percent. And reflected on the scoreboard at the moment. Pollywater goes back to Aitchison. Australia winning its group against teams like Vanuatu and the Cook Islands, Fiji, New Zealand. And Croatia, as I mentioned, here for the first time. 
Suarez. Looking up there for McCaw, getting in the way quickly though, is Eklic. And Croatia are looking good in the first half of this match. They scored the opening goal, they had a couple of opportunities, and Martic was the man who was able to put it away. Australia have had a, a couple of chances. Wells had one opportunity. But Martic, the man who scored the goal, on the break again. Australia quickly back. Chalyak. Eklic. Down goes Dradovic. And the Australians bring up their second foul. So two fouls to Australia. And none to Croatia as yet. Dradovic with it. Eklic out there with him, the number seven. And Suarez behind the wall. And it was almost chipped in by Chalyak. Well, it beat the wall wide of the keeper. And Chalyak was just waiting for the deflection. This is how it nearly became number two. It was there for Chalyak. Couldn't capitalise. Eklic. Australia defending, defending grimly at the moment. Jim Roberts' team down by a goal. The top two teams in this group go through to the next phase. 16 teams at the start. Gradovic, Gradovic around Amandolia. Goal, Gradovic! He did it all himself. Gradovic gets number two for Croatia. This is how he did it. Around Amandolia, past Poliwada, and past Suarez, the goalkeeper. And Gradovic gets himself onto the score sheet. First time in the tournament. Played well enough to deserve a goal in the last match against Russia. It's 2-0 to Croatia. Eklic. Eklic. He's got Pollywater in front of him. Eklic into Pollywater and over the line. Eklic to take it. There's the man who scored number two for Croatia. Robert Gradovic. He's the target once again, but Australia take it. Pollywater. Back to Zwangabani. And out to Hewitt. Australia down by two. Suarez. Too easy for Budigan at the other end. Eklic. Loose pass there from Martic, allowing Amadolia in. His pass just making Zwangabani double back. Australia's problem, apart from the foul difficulty they found themselves in against Costa Rica, was the lapses in concentration. Amandolia in front. It was Eklic, and there's the shot. Oh! Hewitt from a long way out. Didn't miss it by too much. Australia led 1 0 in that first game, but then those two lapses just before half time, and Costa Rica led at the break and went further ahead as the match progressed. This time, Croatia leading well from early on, 2 0 with four and a half minutes from half time as Amandolia sends it in. Eklic. Chilja. Now Gradovic, the man who scored a moment ago, clever work onto his left, will take it back with his right to the captain, Matic. Now it's Gradovic. Gradovic again. Little deflection, it's going to be a corner. George Suarez, 24-year-old Australian goalkeeper from the Sydney Falcons Club. Chuljak. Three of the uh, Croatian players gain experience in the strong Italian league. Another, of course, is about to play in the United States. Here goes Martic again! Number three for Croatia. The 
assist came from Grodovic on the far side. And it was a lovely little chip into the back of the net. Here's Grodovic from the right side, past the Australian defence. And the captain said, I will take that, thank you. Matic gets his second. So, another goal to Croatia, a 3-0 lead. And Australia have called for a timeout. Croatia 3, Australia 0. Well, what about this man, Matic? He's the veteran of the team, the skipper, as we see him on the right of screen. 36 years of age, plays for AS Bergamo. And he's given this Australian team some real problems. Two goals out of Croatia's first three. And it's up to the Australians now to come back try to hold Croatia in the last five minutes of this half Martic taking a break but Croatia in a very strong position and de deservedly so so 3-0 the scoreline that's been a polished performance by Croatia. Tomicic is back out there. Zwangabani works the ball past him. Simon Keith is into the action for the first time for Australia. Anandolia to Poliwada. Anandolia. Good ball. Poliwada couldn't quite get on to it. It was a good move from Anandolia. And David Poliwada couldn't quite collect it with his right boot. Grica, biggest man in this Croatian team. Tomacic, one of the leanest. Very tall man. And so too is Aklic. Tomacic once again. Croatia so creative going forward. Alabic, Tomacic, back to Alabic. They are playing with great confidence at the moment. Suarez. A shot coming in from Grica. Inside the last few minutes, the last three minutes of this first half. And Croatia leading Australia 3-0. Officials looking on. Important competition this for FIFA. So keen to see futsal develop at an international level, as it is at a growing rate. Zwangabani, some 46 teams attempted to qualify for the 96 World Championships. That number rose to 70 for the year 2000. Keith, almost tripping on his own feet. Polywater. There's the ball for Keith, and out comes Bodigan. So that was a huge increase, an increase of around 40% from 1996 to the year 2000. And there's every indication the numbers will grow immeasurably for 2004. Amandolia. Australia will take it. Off the body of Tomicic. And the ball hasn't been down that end too often for Australia. Amandolia got it through. He found an opening there, but there was nobody to take advantage. And there's just a little bit of moisture out there on the court where that last play took place from. There's Amandolia. And he was well wide, probably hoping that a teammate would have been able to accept the pass. Radovic, as the moisture has been mopped up, can make the surface very slippery. The perspiration from the players. Good 
to Vesacic. Well wide with the shot. That was Alabic. Croatia with plenty of opportunities. Around the corner from Wells, missing the left upright. Well, that was the quick clearance again from one end by Suarez. And it was one of the few that has found its mark. Wells losing his opponent and then passing the keeper, but it was wide to the left. Croatia through Tomicic now, through the middle. Tomicic trying to get around Amandolia. Now onto his left. Into Zwangabani. Halabic, attempt on target. Croatia four. Australia one. Well, from only four on target, Croatia have done very well to put away three of them. Tomicic. Richer back that way. Now over to the right side. Nivashagic goes back. Grica. Tomacic. Gets the ball now. Up goes the shot. It was, well, it was hopeful from Alavich. It was strong, forceful, but well high and wide. And Croatia certainly enjoying more freedom than they had. Well trapped by Wells, but lost possession. Tomacic again. And back to Grica. Just over a minute remaining before half time. Croatia searching, building, trying for a fourth goal. Tomacic. Devashagic. Devashagic still going. Can't get the shot in. Grica was the target. Amandolia was the man who ended up with it. Now Nolan. Nolan under pressure, it's over the side, it'll be Croatia's possession. Grica is the man to take it. He's got Tomicic lurking well to his right. That's the way it goes. Tries to get around Wells. Wells takes it away. Has he got support? On the far side he's got Nolan, Zwangabani the near side. Zwangabani, it's too long. Goal kick. Well, first positive attacking movement by the Australians, passing the ball as they took it down the court. But ultimately, the last pass was too long. Tomacic, in it goes from Devashagic. Inside the last 30 seconds of the half, Suarez. And the call is against Suarez, a four-second call, I fancy. And it goes back to the other end. So it's going to be a free kick going the way of Croatia. Outside of the area, the wall in place. Wills with his back to the action. Three in the wall, the keeper just behind. And another player out to the right. Now Grica. Croatia. Searching for a fourth goal. Right on the death at half time. There goes the shot. Into the wall. Alabic put the shot away. Still the corner. Amandolia scoops the ball back up the pitch. Foot again. It'll come back quickly. Alabic has it. One last attacking movement. Is still available on the clock for this team from Yugoslav from uh, Croatia. And now they decide to chew up the clock and allow half time to be signalled. And what a half it's been by Croatia. They lead Australia three goals to nil. The goals coming from Martic in the fifth minute. Then it was Gradovic. And then five minutes before half time. Martic, the captain, scored a second time. Croatia 3, Australia 0. Half time in this Group C encounter at Teodoro Flores Stadium. As we have a look at the goals, there was the first of them through Martic.
改正の考え方あフットサルの特徴を生かすスピーディーさを予兆しようそれからフェアプレーを確保しようこれについてはですねやはり3つぐらいなポイントがあるのかと思いますでその一つはまずハーフウェイラインを越えてゴールキーパーがボールを投げていい。これまではハーフウェイラインを越えてゴールキーパーはボールを投げることができませんでした、えー、やはりゴールキーパーというのは特殊な存在ですのでそのプレーには制限がありましたしかしながら今度の改正でゴールキーパーはトップのプレイヤーに直接正確なパスが投げられるそうすればスピーディーにボールが展開プレーが展開できるあるいはそこから速い得点が生まれるとといいうこともあると思いますもう一つはそのフットサルのピッチというのは縦が4 0ル横が2 0メートル、まあ、大体そうなんですけどもこのピッチを全て広く使うことができるんじゃないかと2つ目のポイントです。自由な交代というものがより進められることになりました。今まではボールがインプレー中にに自由に交代できるのはフィールドプレーヤーだけだったんですねで、これがゴールキーパーも含められるということになりましたフットサルでは4秒ルールというものが適用されて何でもこう早く早く、えー、観客や選手を飽きさせないような早いプレーが求められていますねで、ゴールキーパーの交代についてもまあ、ボールがインプレー中にやっていいよということがあると思いますでこれはですね、えー、フィールドプレーヤーがゴールキーパーのユニフォームを着て、えー、ピッチに立って5人でプレーをするもちろんそのゴールキーパーとしての資質が、まあ、能力というものが高くないんで、えー、リスクではあると思うんですけども逆に言うと攻撃的になるとこういうことがあこういうプレーができるようになったということがあると思います。もう一つ、まあ、3つ目とととなると思いまますけれれどもこれまで、えー反則を1チーム6つ重ねると第 PK ペナルティーマークから壁がないゴールキーパーと1対1のフリーキックが与えられましたでこの距離がこれまではゴールラインから1 2メートルのところでしたしかしながら今年の改正でゴールラインから1 0メートルのところになりました。まあ、10メートルとというとやはりえー、そこから壁がなくてゴールキーパーと一対一であればあ非常に得点のチャンスが生まれると思いますこれは得点のチャンスを増やすということでもあるんですけれどもやはり反則をより少なくしようと、えーまあ、フットサルというのはサッカーの,そのエッセンスをああのようなゲームです、えー、反則をなるべく少なくしてフェアプレーに徹して、えー、行ってくださいと。というようなところなのかと思います。日本フサル連盟はですね、えー、本年今まで二十数年歴史の中で初めてあの改正再編という形で取ってもらい取らせていただきまして、えー、全国の地域に。えーの代表の理事を入れていただいて、それで各地域にまで全国展開ができるようにという組織を改変しましまたその中で日本サル連盟がこれからやらなきゃいけないこととかということが自然と出てきたわけですけどその中でやっぱり一番大事なことはリーグ戦を各地域でやっていただこうということに決めましてですね各地域にできるだけ早い時期にリーグ戦を展開していただいてそれでそのトータルの中でその上には日本を代表するリーグが将来的にできればというのが目標にですね競技性の一つはそれがありますそれからもう一つは、えー、普及ということではあのサッカーのファミリーがたくさん増えるように、えー、我々の中で、えー、いつでもどこでも誰でもという,う理念のもとにですね、えー、多くの方があサッカーを愛しそれでフツサルの愛好者になっていただいてですねサッカーファミリーを拡大していくというのが、まあ、一つの狙いであります。
Welcome back to Teodoro Flores Stadium. It's half time in the match between Croatia and Australia. Croatia leading 3 0, and the second half is just about to get underway. A very impressive performance by Croatia in the opening 20 minutes of action. And I think their coach, Marijan Brunchic, would be well pleased with their performance so far. As the second half is now underway, Gradovic, one of the goal scorers in the first half, taking an early possession. Australia still with Suarez as their goalkeeper, but at the other end there has been a change for Croatia. Papez has taken the place of Budigan. And he'll be into the action very early, although the pass doesn't go back there from Gradovic. Air glitch. Fast run down the left side. Gradovic almost had a little touch on it. Air glitch to Gradovic and just waiting to get a little deflection. And the goal was open. It's still with him. Gradovic. Now Chuljak. Chuljak's still there. Keeper on the floor. Chuljak running out of room now. Still battling for it. And finally, good defensive pressure by the Australians. And Suarez will bring it back. The skipper, Matic. Gradovic to Matic now. Gradovic will go through the centre. There goes the pass. Gradovic onto his left. Oh, the save from Suarez. Bouncing into the ground. Gradovic, loose ball, cleared away by Pollywater for Australia. Not for long. Gradovic again. Gradovic wide to the right. Interesting to watch. Well, there are the tactics again employed by Suarez. I was about to say, interesting to see what he does in the second half. The clearances weren't good in the first. Not that that would concern Mr. Brunchic, the coach of the Croatian team. Eklic. Martic is there with him. Score of two goals. High ball there for Eklic, but... Suarez clearing it back down the other end. Papas will take it. The man who is now in goal for Croatia. Well, they're trying to keep it open for Gradovic. And why not? Because he really does give them a big option when they go forward. Gradovic back to the skipper. Martic. Davashagic goes down. Zwangabani is the Australian. Papez goes back his way now. Matic. Gradovic again. Zwangabani knocks it away. Makor. Zwangabani back to Suarez. Long ball from Suarez. Knocked back by Papez. Well, there's no doubt when the Australians are playing, the goalkeepers have to be on their toes even when the ball is at the other end because it comes back quickly. Zwangabani, taken by Gradovic over the line. Elliot Zwangabani, 27-year-old. Now Pollywater, McCaw, Hewitt. Pollywater, Zwangabani. Australia. Lost all their matches at the 1996 World Championships, losing to Ukraine, also Egypt and Spain. Lost to Costa Rica first up here, and Croatia certainly in a very strong position in match two. It doesn't get any easier because the third match in this pool is against Russia, who shape as the strongest of all the teams. Poliwara to McCaw. And Australia will take it from the side. Three minutes into the second half of this match. Pollywater over the top. Gradovic with the head. Now the long ball from Gradovic. Just too long for Chalia. Making good ground down the right. As for Croatia, if they can take the points from this match, they then face Costa Rica. Costa Rica, the 6-2 winners 
over Australia. So it could be a very even encounter. Chalyak. Costa Rica did look good against Australia, but they were outclassed against Russia. The Russians winning earlier today, six goals to one. But likewise, Croatia, without Tomacic, was beaten by Russia as well. So it could be a very interesting tussle to see who the second team is going through from Group C through to the quarterfinals. Hewitt will take it for Australia. Ball makes his way into the area, but it goes back to Amandolia. Now Hewitt, forced to go backwards, will turn it over to Zwangabani. No, he goes straight back to the keeper, Suarez. Took a deflection on its way down. Chance for Amandolia. McCaw, best chance, Australia. Putting it wide to the far side. Well, that was the best scoring opportunity they've had for a long, long while. It was two on one down there. Amandolia got the pass away. McCaw just forcing it wide and still Australia yet to get on the scoreboard Tomacic is out there now and almost back click into the net what a goal Del Pont has put it in with the back of his foot and Del Pont has scored one of the goals of the tournament He was facing the wrong way. He had the keeper and Zwangabani to beat, and he just clipped it back into the net. No power on it, but scooping it with the heel. And that's the fourth goal scored for Croatia. Croatia four, Australia nil. Well, that is exciting. Del Pont, the game is always exciting, futsal. So far, so many goals. Loose ball down there. Hewitt trying to pounce for Australia. He will take the ball from the side. Amendolia adjusting his gear. And Hewitt goes back to Amendolia, who shoots high and hard from just inside the halfway. Papez, who traded places with Budikin at half-time. Amendolia will go to Hewitt. Amendolia now across to Swangabani. One thing that was apparent in the first half, the different Australian approach than they had against Costa Rica, they did get themselves into awful foul trouble in both halves in their opening match. There was clearly the desire to stay out of foul trouble in this match. This is a good break from McCaw. McCaw just wide to the right this time. Shooting it from 12 metres. And as a result, in that first half, as we see that shot from McCaw, it had plenty on it. The Australians registered uh, just two fouls, but they did concede, importantly, three goals. Richard from the side. After half time, the Croatians have added, of course, a fourth through Del Pont. So leading by four goals to nil at the moment. Tomacic. Tomacic from just inside 10 metres. Now from the spot. Oh, my word. He was right on the six metre line. Plenty on it. And Suarez got his hands to it, knocking it over the top. Here's Tomacic. Made good ground, shooting from six. And Suarez, his hands. From the corner. Oh, Tomacic was looking at the back of the net instead of the ball. He was starting the celebrations, you fancy. But didn't make contact. That's the way I play golf. An air swing from Tomacic. Hewitt from the side. Amandolia. Zwangabani. Gri 
Kovacevica. Malvasia goes out to the right side to Tomacic. Doesn't miss it this time, Tomacic. Now working it around again, out to Del Pont, the man who scored that back of the heel goal a moment ago. Tries it with his left foot, but Zlengibani was pressuring, and it goes over the line. So, once again, Croatia will put it back into play. Four goals to nil. And now it's Tomacic. Same spot as a moment ago. And Suarez. Loose ball. A little fumble. But got it a second time before Del Pont's good pounce. Richa. Del Pont. Del Pont around the corner. Malavaic. And again, too deep. Too deep. So Australia with a chance to clear it away. Really, Croatia doing so well with their shots on goal in the first half. So many on target. The important thing from Croatia is on target, six to one. And they made the most of their chances, scoring off those six on target, four goals. You can't ask for too much more than that. Grichar been a good player he's had a lot of time out on the pitch so far this man Richard 28 year old he picked up a yellow card in the first game so he needs to watch himself in this match and also in the next against Costa Rica Wells and Wells also picked up a yellow card in fact so did Aitchison three of the Australians did in the first game this is Wang Barney Corner for Australia, and that is something of a rarity. Over the top from Amandolia. They haven't had too many opportunities from the corner, the Australians. Three, Croatia five. This is the very tall player out there, Alibic. Tallest man out there. Some six foot six, two metres tall. Wells chopping it off before Tomacic could get a clean go at it. Tomacic will be playing for the next four years with Detroit in the USA. That's why he missed the first game. He stopped over in the United States to sign that contract. Aitchison, Wells. So he's agreed to terms and that's good news indeed for Tomacic and I dare say good news for the game of futsal in Croatia. Most members of this team play as amateurs as we have another look at this incident with Wells. Save at the other end, Suarez. Wells again trying to control it. He's got support from Zwangabani. Does it himself, Wells. Now goes down. No whistle. Malovic. Now Tomacic. Tomacic hits the up. Well, Suarez was down on his back trying to save it. And the shot was rifled in from Tomacic. And it, taking the deflection into the woodwork. The left upright. Halibic. Now Tomacic. They can work it around. And they have plenty of goal scoring options. Charapina is out there for the first time. Number two sent the pass in. Hewitt has it for Australia. And Simon Aitchison now, who is the acting captain effectively, as Adam Confoy didn't get a place in the starting five. Instead, Juarez, who sends it long downfield. Headed back Croatia's way. Tomacic. Good ball. Suarez is out of position, but he's got support from Amandolia and his other defenders. Amandolia going through. Forced out by Charapina. It's Jamie Amandolia, number 12 for Australia, scored and received the yellow card in the first game. Hero and villain. Croatia still dominating possession of the ball, and that's much the way it was at half time 57 to 43. 
approaching the midway point of the second half. Australia fighting to make inroads through Amandolia now. He's a creative player. Corner to be taken by Simon Aitchison as Puppes is the goalkeeper. Amandolia. Fast break from Del Pont. Del Pont still going to Mari saves. Fast run down the left side from this man Del Pont. Halibich, 4-0 the scoreline. 29 and a half minutes gone. The match of two 20-minute halves of actual playing time. And it's a match that Croatia have had the better of. Halibich. Charapina. Devashagic passed it back to him. Devashagic again. Does well to get it to Charapina, but Suarez is there. Well, they're just waiting to find a crack in that Australian defence, trying to patiently wait to find an opening before they put the shot in. And that was indicated in the statistics we've seen. Not too many shots on goal, really, but importantly, a big percentage of them right on target. Coach would be very happy, Mr. Buncic. Aitchison to McCaw. Taken away from McCaw. Aitchison again. Hewitt around the corner. McCaw wasn't quite expecting it. McCaw traps it again. Zwangabani to Aitchison. Hewitt, the veteran of the side, is out there as well, the number three. Good trap. Devashagic. Australia there with numbers, though. Zwangabani did well to get it out to Aitchison. Zwangabani just had to run onto it, couldn't quite control it. And Devashagic will mop up for Croatia. Charapina. Del Pont, Del Pont loses it, Hewitt pouncing. Rolling to Papas. Man who came out at half time, replacing Budigan. Croatia still to play Costa Rica in this group. And that really does shape as a wonderful match in two days' time into the side of the net. Halabic putting in the shot. Just a little deflection. He will take the corner. Halibic. Big tall man. Del Pont around the corner, chipping it over the top. Never looked likely. But that man, Del Pont, has scored a wonderful goal in this second half. The fourth goal for Croatia, giving them a 4 0 lead. Hewitt. Simon Aitchison. Back it goes to Pappas. Aitchison tries to put pressure on him. Suarez at the other end. Goal kick and keepers both in action. Hewitt. His pass goes astray. Charapina. Now Aitchison. Hewitt on the far side. On the near side. McCaw. And out came Pappas. Two Croatians falling into each other. Del Pont. Del Pont still going. kick for the Australians. Zwangabani. Well, Croatia certainly improving as this tournament goes on. There's no doubt that they faced a much tougher opponent in their opening game. They did well in the first half against Russia, keeping Russia goalless. Again, Godovic, but just rolling it to the near side. So that was a fine performance. It was a very defensive first half in their opening match, but Russia got the better of them in the second. From one end to the other again. Now, though, against Australia, they're finding their goal-scoring ability. And that augurs well for the remainder of the tournament. 
should they advance to the next round? And that really all depends on their performance in the next game. Gradovic. Gradovic. Wills was battling hard against him. Grichar. Grichar, the back pass. That was good. Band into the net. <laughs> Number five as Chuliak scores his first. Croatia going further in front here at Teodoro's Blora Stadium. Coach Brunchic watching all the skills on display as Grichar it was who really set it up with that lovely pass on the far side. And finally, it was Chuliak who put it into the net. Diving keeper, but Suarez really left with no chance. Chuliak getting his first. And Croatia five, Australia nil. And Wells putting the shot in at the other end for Australia. So 5 nil the scoreline. And that's with six and a half minutes remaining as Australia call a timeout. This is the shot put in there by Wells, but to no avail. And Pappas was quickly across to make the save. Well, Marian Bruncic would be well pleased. So too is that man who scored the goal, Chuliak. Celebrations are starting already. And why not? Chuliak scoring his first goal. His first of the tournament. 25-year-old who plays in the Italian League and really it was made easy for him in the end but you've got to be in the right spot to put them away and that's exactly where Chuliak was so Australia's timeout Wells having a drink Suarez and Jim Roberts the coach addressing them 60 second timeouts both sides allowed one each in uh, each half of futsal The score lines for Australia in 96, reading 11-2 against the Ukraine, Egypt 8-2, and Spain 7-0. We started with a 6-2 defeat against Costa Rica here, and now they trail Croatia by five goals to nil with six and a half minutes remaining. A learning process for this side. It's Wangabani to take the corner. Amandolia, long shot! It wasn't too bad either. It was high, it was powerful. But it always takes an element of luck from that distance with so many players in front. And it wasn't too high over the crossbar. Eklic goes to Grichar, the man who played an important part in that fifth goal for Croatia. Eklic. Chuljak, the man who scored it. So much talent out there. Gradovic has already scored a goal himself in this match. Eklic to Gradovic. Gradovic on the left. Tries to get his shot in. Not quite. Just a little hesitation and plenty of pressure applied by Australia at the vital moment before he could get the shot in. Eklic. Gradovic around the corner perhaps. Not quite. Zwangabani. Now Grichar. Now the chance. Eklic goes down. Well, he's given the penalty. Eklic going down in the D, and Zwangabani trying to argue with referee Fasa Suzuki as we look at it again. Well, Zwangabani went down first, and then Eklic followed. Regardless of what we think, importantly, the referee has decided it's a penalty. Gradovic to take it. Gradovic to put it into the net. It's 6 0 to Croatia as Gradovic gets his second. And real celebrations on the sideline for Croatia. A match of celebration as we have another look at this strike from Gradovic. Top left hand corner. And he makes it that scoreline of 6 0. Gradovic, Grichar, Gradovic again to Eklic. 
No, decides to stay with the ball himself to the big man Grecher. Chopped off by White. Matthew White having a brief time out there on the pitch. Taking it from the halfway now. Hewitt. Flash of heads down the sideline. Ball going Australia's way. Hewitt. Just over five minutes remaining. And plenty of substitutions being made for Croatia. They can all play a part in this celebration win. It will be their first victory at this level of competition. World Championship finals. The last 16 teams. Of course, Croatia making their first appearance at the championships. Fifth at the European Championships. That served them in good stead. And they have qualified for the European Championships to be held next year as well. Alabic. Alabic. And that goes and wide it goes from Malvasia. Charapina is out there, number two. Getting backly, back there quickly in the Australian attacking zone. Ball from Aitchison, just a little too wide for Zwangabani. Put him under pressure with that big man, Alabic, who came in to put the pressure on. Aitchison again. Little deflection. Pappas comes out to cover. White was closing in on that for Australia. White gets the ball cleverly. Aitchison. Zwangabani to Hewitt. And Australia putting some passes together. Aitchison. Back with Hewitt. Goes into the middle. White does well. That was a good save. It was a good strike. And saved there by Jukic. Well, Jukic getting his first touch. The third of the keepers used. And it was an important touch as well. Matthew White making the strike. Not quite beating the keeper. Charapina. Just about all 14 players have been out there on the pitch for Croatia. And it's great experience for them with important matches still to come. And three keepers have now been used in the match so far. Nice little knock on there over the top of Suarez, committing himself to the ball. There's going to be a corner. Deep to the halfway, Charapina, Alabic, Charapina running through. Decides to go back though. Malvasia. Malvasia around Hewitt. Hewitt got a leg there. And it's a foul called against Australia. Well, Australia were disciplined in the first half. Conceding just two fouls. And now they've conceded three so far in the second. So it's been a much improved effort in that area than the first game of the tournament. Oh, well, that was loose. Waiting for it, waiting for it was Tomacic. Hewitt. Oh, he missed it. I think it was intentional though. Alabic. You know, knew that Jukic was back there. Squaring it up. It's Wangabani to Aitchison though. Aitchison again. Loses it and down. Aitchison's going to help him up, but it's another foul against Australia. And that is foul number four. Or is it in fact the fifth? Regardless, there's no. It's against Aitchison, and regardless. Not yet the 10 metre penalty. Still could cause some problems, though. Alabic got his foot on it. Australia with indeed their fifth foul. So once it gets to six, of course, their opponents will go to the 10 metre penalty spot.
Malvasia. Alabic has been a good player. Very big, strong man on the left side. Chirapina losing the ball to Hewitt. Now Aitchison on the far side making good ground for Australia. Nolan back to Hewitt. Nolan again. But they have chewed up a bit of time there. And the Croatian defenders were quickly back into position. Over the sideline, Nolan will take it. Nolan is the youngest member of this team, just 19 years of age. Amandolia, 23-year-old, his second world championship. So too, Swangabani. Aitchison. Amandolia again. But really, he can hold on to the ball at the moment, but it's difficult to find too many opportunities out there. The ball going down the right sideline and eventually over the goal line. Tomacic. When you consider that this team of Croatian players relying heavily on those that play in the Italian league and Tomacic, who will be heading to the United States, but other than that, amateur players and several of the top teams here, professionals or semi-professionals, so this is an impressive performance by Croatia. Did stretch Russia and make Russia work for their victory. And they may yet be a force in these championships. Amandolia over the sideline. Croatia to take it with just over a minute of play remaining. Tomacic. It's been an awesome performance by Croatia. Save there, loose ball. No Croatian player within Kui though. Of Suarez, Nolan. And Australia will take a corner. So, a dominant performance by this man's team. Martic scoring in the fifth minute. Gradovic scoring. Five minutes later, then Martic again at the 15-minute mark of the first half, giving Croatia a 3-0 lead at half-time. And they've since added another three goals in the second half. Del Pont, Chaljak and Gradovic with his second. Aitchison rolling it back gently to Suarez. Futsal scores can blow out. But that's part of the excitement of the game. It's a game of high scoring. A few seconds remaining over the sideline. Australia to have one last play at the ball. Aitchison. Over the sideline. And it is all over. Well done, Croatia. And coach Marian Brancic. Croatia, handsome victories over Australia by a scoreline of six goals to nil. Their second match in Group C here at Guatemala 2000. Croatia six, Australia nil. Good performance by Croatia. The statistics.